Hey guys, it's hot as hell out here in sunny California. And summer is just around the corner. So in this video, I'm gonna give you guys five tips. That's five, count them. To help you run better in the hot weather. Let's do this. Hey guys and welcome to my channel uh, for those of you who stopped by thank you for watching for those of you who haven't stopped by yet don't worry you'll get here <laughs> um, this is so humiliating anyway to elaborate a little bit on my opening segment the um, it's getting really hot out there we uh, <laughs> need to be really careful when we go out running or hiking because uh, it could be just be plain dangerous if you don't do the right thing. So this video, my goal is to uh, provide you with some safety tips that I like to implement. And uh, I hope you enjoy the video. If you like the content, uh, please hit the old subscribe button to Rooney here. And uh, don't forget to check out my other videos on hiking and fitness and also doggy vlogs. So if you like dogs and you like hiking and you like fitness, this is a channel for you. Let's get on with it. A good way to mitigate the effects of heat on your workout is to split your workout up. Uh, for example, in this one, in this uh, example, I did a uh, four miles, but two of them were running, and the other two of them were uh, with my, my pack, which it weighs a bit more, but you have water on you. So the whole point is to try to like split the workout up, allow yourself a chance to get some hydration up going while you're doing the run. These splits are horrible. But they're better than nothing. Time, 11 minutes, 24 seconds. Distance, 1 mile. Pace, 11 minutes, 23 seconds per mile. Split, pace, 11 minutes, 24 seconds per mile. You are a disgrace. Run faster, okay. you fat lard ass. Almost done with the first part. Okay. Let's see the first. So we're back in uh, the saddle here. First section was, uh, the first segment was only two miles. And uh, now we're gonna finish it off with this, uh, with the pack, which on paper it should be harder, but in reality, you have your water source with you. So that makes a huge difference, uh, especially when it's this hot out. You know, having this water source in your back is a, uh, it could be literally a lifesaver. <laughs> At the very least, it's a psychological advantage. <laughs> so I started feeling a little. Like my performance is drappy. More than halfway, so. Less than a mile to go. Let's get on home. Where, you know, you're in the sun and it's beating down on you but the opposite side of the street is shady. So, <laughs> if you're gonna be doing that for a while, it's a good consideration to maybe try crossing the road. <laughs> but don't get run over doing it.
one of the ways you can stay cool while you're running in the hot weather is to stay in the shaded areas. Now, even though technically it's not any cooler temperature wise, it has the effect because it blocks the solar radiation. Finishing up the last part of this. Well, since my lazy ass didn't wake up early enough and it's already hot out, I'm gonna do a little bit of a uh, interval training. You lack discipline for a shorter duration. So let's get to it. Another good tip for running in the heat is um, if it's too hot to do a long run, try to do a shorter, more intense run. Yeah. One of the things I like to do, as you can see in this video, is something called a fart lick. I'm not sure if that's the right word. It sounds kind of dirty, but. Don't make me. Um, at a certain percentage of your maximum effort and then you're having different periods of rest and you still manage to get a couple of good miles in. The fart legs can be done in a variety of ways. I'm doing a one minute on, one minute off <clears throat> or one minute plus on basically. <sighs> oh, Alfredo sauce. The whole point is to run a, a certain percentage of your maximum effort which in this case, I'm about 80, 75 to 80 percent. Are you sure about now, that? It looks slow as hell because we're going up the hill. Um, that's the other thing. Don't don't worry about your stopwatch. Just um, run run at your effort, and then that will get you the best results. We're gonna hurry up. One minute thirty seven seconds later. girls that's the workout for this morning total distance about 2.4 miles not a long run um, but it's a great run to do because you're doing different levels of effort and you have different um, perceived maximum effort that you're, you're, you're exerting so it's not so much you saw my splits are pretty pretty crappy but it's not so much what your splits are you know don't be a slave to the stopwatch just it's more about how you feel and how hard you're going so um, <coughs> Ideally, you want to do it on a flat surface, but or a track would be ideal. I decided to just take part of my regular running route. And another point that I want to make is also uh, on the downhills. I just I laid off of laid off of it. I didn't do any sprinting. I just went to a regular pace at about 60 to 70 percent perceived maximum effort. So. a um, sort of a shorter version of our normal morning routine. Wind up with about three and a half miles or 3.75 depending on who you ask, whom you ask. We uh, did a little set up set with the pack and um, what we're doing is, the strategy we're employing is doing shorter runs in the morning and then trying to double up on them or add to them in the afternoon. So that is a good strategy. All right, it's time for the second half of the run here. You gotta be careful of this fence, it's gonna run us over. Oh my God, the thing almost got me. So, um... It's 7 p.m. and we are going to take off on a run. Let's do it. <laughs> Almost to the mile. Time, 11 minutes. 30 seconds. Distance, one mile. Pace, 11 minutes. 29 seconds per mile. Split, pace, 11 minutes. 30 seconds per mile. Bitch, what? I am disgusted with you, bitch. Pass the turnaround. So we're going to try to get home now.
Time, 20 minutes, 58 seconds. Distance, 2 miles. Pace, 10 minutes, 28 seconds per mile. Split. You suck, you duckass. They ask you how you are, and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Okay, so reactions to the workout. First of all, um, love it. Oh, it's cooler in the early evening. <clears throat> it definitely um, feels better. I would consider even doing my entire workout just in the evening um, if I just didn't lose motivation throughout the day and, and never get started on it. Uh, another advantage, less people, um, less traffic. And, um, you know, you just, you feel good when you're finished because now it's a nice breeze and you can see my hair is blowing back because I haven't had a cut in like God knows how long. Um, and then the other thing is uh, the disadvantages. Um, disadvantage one, when you do two workouts in a day that involve running or packing, you're gonna be smashed on your second workout. And Stop whining. Until you get really used to doing two a days. Two days is tough. You know, for when you even when you're in shape, you're not in shape like me, <laughs> it makes it even tougher. So, the thing I want to point out is, um, I just I don't like to eat. I, I, I don't like to run after I've eaten anything because my stomach is really. So, yeah, you know, you got to eat sometime. And with me, once I do my first workout and take a shower, I kind of develop an appetite, and the appetite stays with me the whole day. And I don't just eat a couple meals a day. I eat. One meal that lasts the entire day. So, for me, I have to stop eating about two hours before I'm going to do this run, which then drains my motivation. So, those are the things that I don't like about it. Um, but, you know, I'm just trying these out just to let you all know. A big part of running in the heat is just knowing when to put the pedal to metal and knowing when to back off on the throttle, so to speak. You can see here I'm taking frequent breaks. I'm, I'm running, but I'm also doing some walking in between, which can be used for either if you have a pack or if you don't have a pack. Whew. This is a long axle. <laughs> have to really take it easy on this one. Pace, 12 minutes, 37 seconds per mile. You are pathetic. Just quit now, you woozy. Okay, we made it up the top. And we got a little flatter area. So, um, we're still gonna run, but it's gonna be slower because of this heat and the, uh, whew, and the fatigue from going up that big ass hill too. That didn't help. <laughs> of course, the ultimate reward for, for getting to the top is the view. Other than the fence, which is an ugly eyesore. That is so embarrassing. I don't know if you guys can notice a difference, so. Um, up here on the hill, it's a little bit windier. Um, on that side of the hill, on the windward side, it's pretty windy. Over here, it's kind of stagnant once you start getting down. So if I was smart, I would have come up the other side. But, you know. I'm an idiot! You're an idiot! Okay, we're in the final, uh, about four tenths of a mile. So, uh, A little bit downhill, we're making good time. <laughs> Let's do this.
That was god awful, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, <coughs> so, <coughs> let's try that again. <laughs> take two. That was the uh, first take I was practically dying on. <laughs> so, we uh, finish up to our workout video today. We uh, managed about three point, just under 3.5. It's hotter than hell out here. I'm in the shade right now, so I feel a lot better. Are you sure about that? Uh, key thing to emphasize in the last workout was just basically you got to live with your splits. Sometimes you just don't have the splits you want because of the heat. And, uh, you know, you just have to, you got to protect yourself. You know, you got to live to fight another day. So that's what we did. But we did make it 12 minutes a mile. I guess we had a huge rally coming down the hill. I, mean, you know, just, I, didn't pretty fast. <laughs> I must have just been in a hurry to get home. <laughs> if you like this video and you want to see others, go ahead and subscribe to my channel right over here. And also these other videos, go ahead and click on these above my right and left shoulder. And um, you'll see some more funny and uh, hopefully useful content. Also, don't forget to take the poll about uh, regarding what is your favorite way to beat the heat uh, while you're running or exercising. See ya. Stay safe and keep the faith. <laughs>